you're probably subscribing to a number of online services. That's only going to grow right. as all the software moves to cloud subscriptions. Sanjay Goan and Patrick Fung show uh, Nacho Nacho uh, and how it can help manage your expenses and save money on your software. So we're solving three problems, Nacho Nacho. Firstly, we help you consolidate and manage all your subscriptions in one place. Um, so I'm sure you've all experienced this. You started a free trial, you forgot to cancel it, uh, and it became a paid subscription. You might have unused subscriptions because you migrated to a new product but forgot to cancel the previous one. Uh, you might have duplicate subscriptions. Two people separately subscribe to a SaaS product without knowing that the other one already has it. Sometimes you get overcharged because of usage, extra usage fees. Uh, sometimes subscribing is easy, but cancellation is difficult. Other times a team member or employee leaves and you forget to cancel their subscriptions. So that's the first problem by, we solve by helping you consolidate all your existing subscriptions in one place. Secondly, uh, selecting the right SaaS product that is a good fit for your organization is a massive challenge. And as Craig was saying, it's not just about the big brands like Zoom, it's what's the right product for you. So our second solution is to help you find the right product using our machine learning algorithms. And thirdly, we have a marketplace where we have hundreds of SaaS products listed and each product comes with a very substantial discount, up to 30% lifetime discounts. Nacho Nacho is a single destination for you to manage SaaS that you're already paying, discover new SaaS that's relevant to you, and then buying it from the marketplace at substantial discounts. My colleague Patrick will give you a quick demo. Thanks for the introduction, Sanjay. We're, I'm going to share my screen quickly, and we're going to take a look at Nacho Nacho platform. Uh, let's get for a feel for the room. If you've ever paid more for a software subscription than you strictly had to, go ahead and type a capital Y in the chat. I'm sure there's going to be lots of people who can uh, empathize with that feel. Um, what we're going to do is take a quick look at the Nacho Nacho platform. And as you can see, we'll actually be able to see exactly how much money on the company has been spent on a month to month basis, as well as how much has been spent in total. And our solution is really centered around creating a separate virtual card for every single subscription and every user within your company. You're going to get granular spend control for every single subscription. So I'll come to Nacho Cards here and create a virtual Nacho card. And we're going to assign it to a member of the team. We're going to give it to Bob Ross right here. And let's say we're trying to use our Nacho card to manage our Google Works subscription. So I'll type in Google Workspace right here. And we're going to, set, it's going to ask us to set a limit for how much money we're spending with this card per month. Let's say we're spending in the company, maybe about $50 per month. We're going to set a limit that's slightly higher than that. So $60 per month. And boom, the card has been created. This one is not an actual card number. You're not going to be able to spend any money with this information. Um, if you were in a real account, you'd actually be able to take this and you go directly to the Google payment portal and input this information. And you would be able to use this as your payment source for a uh, card. If you had any issues, um, you can actually click a single button right here and suspend the card. What happens now is if somebody else tries to charge the card, it's not going to go through. So you'll get a notification in your email saying this card has been charged, but uh, it didn't go through. And if we were to resolve whatever issue you had with the vendor, you can actually click a single button and reactivate the card. Now, very, very simple to update the restrictions on the card. Um, let's say we wanted the amount that we can spend on the card to be $80. Let's say we added a couple more people to a Google subscription that you could just click here and save. Another thing that you might be able to do is, for example, if you want to create a card for a free trial, but you didn't want to remember uh, to cancel the trial in a couple of days, what I used to do is um, create a calendar notification to remind myself to uh, cancel the card in a couple of days. What you can do right here is actually set the expiry date. So for example, the trials for one month and it ends it, we can set the card to end in a week. And right here, after the week, the car is going to be expired already. And when the user tries to uh, use to, when the vendor tries to um, charge the card, it's not going to go through. It's very, very simple. You're not going to need to set any other reminders. Something else that I can show you here is we can take a look at the members within the company. You're going to be able to see exactly who's paying for what and how much they're spending on a month to month basis. You'll be able to see the different subscriptions that are associated with them, as well as the most recent transactions that they have. The other thing that I'll show you is Nacho Nacho Marketplace. So you can, you're actually eligible for thousands of dollars of credits. For example, AWS, Twilio, uh, SendGrid, just to name a couple, um, just for Nacho Nacho user. You're also eligible for up to 30% lifetime cashback just for being a new user of these software subscriptions if you're already paying for Nacho Nacho. So for example, if you want to try Canva, then you'll be able to get 20% cash back for the first year of the Canva plan, whatever plan you're using, as long as you're a new user. 
the final thing that I'll show you is over here on the subscriptions tab, you're actually able to see exactly what kind of subscriptions are being paid for within the company. So for example, if we wanted to take a look at LinkedIn, well, I know that we're com our company is paying for LinkedIn at the moment. And we can see that, oh, okay, this company has three different LinkedIn subscriptions. The first one being for Bob Ross, second one for Vanessa, third one for Nazareth, and one of these subscriptions is suspended. So it's not no longer being paid for. If you wanted to offboard a member of your company, then you can come here into your, uh, come into here at members. And let's say we wanted to offboard Vanessa. She's no longer with us. Very, very simple. All you have to do is click a single button and you'll be able to suspend all of their cards. Very, very simple. Very, very painless. Thanks. Yeah. Nacho Nacho here is really help, uh, is really here to help nonprofits succeed. So if you're looking to stretch your software budget further, your 